welcome back to my garage. Today is finally the day we're installing the radiator protectors. If you watched my other video where I was talking about how to lift your car, that was a, a three, weeks, three weeks ago, I think, but then I was waiting for some parts and then uh, I traveled and then I got sick. And then now finally, finally, we're installing these. But for now, I will, I'll first lift the car and then I'll remove the wheels, remove the bumper. I'm not going to film any of that because, uh, well, I already talked about lifting the car, removing the wheels, anyone knows how to remove wheels. Uh, and, uh, and then removing the bumper, there is a very good uh, tutorial uh, on Renlist, uh, it, you know, that guy did an awesome job and anything I say, it cannot, it cannot be better than that, so I'll just put the link below the tutorial I'm using to remove the bumper. And I think that's going to be the hardest part, just lifting the car, removing the bumper. Once we do that, uh, that should be really easy to install these. For now, I'll just leave the camera in time-lapse mode, just so we, you know, I have the little video in fast-forward, so we can see I'm lifting the car, removing the bumper and all that, and then we'll, we'll continue with the video. And look at that! The bumper is off! That wasn't too hard actually. And this is the guy! Take it! So we'll be installing the, the protectors actually here. You go, this one goes in the back because of the active um, arrow, so it goes in the back. Alright, so here's where the fun begins. Installation of the radiator protectors from Rainline. I put the bumper to the side we're not we're not gonna work directly on the bumper we're gonna install th them on these um, plastic bits here we have to remove this which I have no idea how to do it so I'll track I'll have to figure it out the instruction says I have to remove that remove air ducting to radiators on both sides and then we're gonna install the screens to those air ducts and then put it back uh, they don't give you any instructions on how to do that but. so I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna to remove these ducts and then we'll continue all right ducts are out it wasn't too bad actually they are held by these clips here one two three four so all I have to do is like use a screwdriver or something to force this out and then they they pop out and that's it next steps is to install finally install the protectors into the ducts and i'll leave the camera in the in the tripod and we'll go through it uh, together all right so first step is to insert grills into air ducts from the back side down. So from the back side down is like this. By the way, for people that are worried about worried about adding weight to your car don't worry because these are super light these are I think aluminum and seriously it's like it's like a piece of paper so light which one goes where I think this one should go here and this one Yeah, you can 
just slides here. As you can see, it just slides. Mm. Like that. That's it. Mm. It's not a perfect fit. I was expecting a I was expecting a better better alignment here. Am I doing this opposite? They come in kind of a preformed shape, and I was, I assumed that was the right shape, but mm, I don't know. I, I'm also afraid of bending this thing because it's so fragile, just all me. This is it. All right, so I think I figured this out. All you have to do is just push a little bit uh, the screen downwards. The, the way it comes is not perfect, but if you just press down, it will go into place, so uh, not a perfect fit, but uh, it's just, it's just it's very flexible, so you can put it into place. So now we're going to put the screw, screw, so it doesn't say anything, but I'm doing pilot holes, so I just tested pilot holes in a plastic, but first, not a big deal because it's not going to be visible anyways. That's it. I'll. Uh, you install one screw here, then you flip nine screws all, all over, just aligning to the edge, and that's it. When it's done, I'll uh, record again. All right, first screw is installed. I don't know if you can see, but you just have to align the edges and put a screw right there. Um, and then it will hold into place. The other side is not going to be visible, so it's fine. Now we're going to flip it and install nine screws on this side. All right, so this is going pretty well now. I think I figured it out. So the instructions tell you to align, align the top there to that edge. And I think I did a pretty good job here, if you see, perfect line. So all you have to do is push a little bit, you know, make it make it, uh, make it, it align, and then put the screws, and so far looks great. So three more here, and three more here, and then we should be done with this side. Alright, looks like we're done. Uh, look at that. So let's put some light here. One screw there. Then nine screws on the other side. Align to the top. Align to the top. And align to the top. And this is how it looks. So all we have to do now is install this back into the car and do the other side. I, I'm not gonna do the other side. I'll do once. I'll, I'll I'll record just one side and then I'll stop the video. And tomorrow when I put back the bumpers, I'll uh, I'll make a before and after picture and that's it. All right. So here how it looks back in the car. The only screw that will be visible, and they say this will be hidden by the 
the active shutter so we'll see about that but all the other screws are kind of hidden like inside obviously you have those tips hanging out which I don't like but as long as it doesn't touch anything right here too you see uh, I'm not sure what we can do about these but yeah this is how it looks um, I think it looks okay uh, we'll see how we, when we install the bumper I think this is, could be better like this fit here is a little bit not perfect you know, but all in all decent decent product okay final video all done bumper is back on uh, putting the bumper back on it was actually not bad uh, it was actually pretty easy it slides back in so here is the final look i i think it looks pretty pretty good it's not as it doesn't look as good as the gt cars with the with the mesh in front but the only thing you can see is that uh, that screw right there i should probably have put a little bit higher so it gets hidden by this uh the shutter but if you look from the above oh, normally you're looking the car from this angle so it gets hidden but only if you like goes under you can see that screw but all other screws are pretty hidden you cannot see them at all they're hidden all the way there so yeah so far so far i'm i'm pretty happy um but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think thanks for watching see you next video